It was true. Sometimes she looked down at a new body and wondered how birth would be possible. The fetus was now 19 inches long and weighed seven and a half pounds. She weighed 95. In relative terms, giving birth would be like trying to pass a propane tank through a necklace. There's also the joy to the process. <laughs> But there was also the joy to the process. The rhythms to her new responsibility, its heart beating in her belly, the soft touch of the new kick, the call and response to song and voice and story. It was an inimitable life process. An amazing process. <laughs> because when you think about it, conception is a remarkable thing. You have the egg, which is about the size of the dot of a pencil. And the sperm goes inside. If you magnify the egg like 100 times, you could just see the sperm. And the egg turns into an embryo, divides to grow in the uterus, and this is launched by a calcium wave released by the sperm's protein molecule. And molecules are so small, there are 500 billion billion of them in a cubic inch of air. Which means you could just barely see one of them. If you pile 10,000 of them, one on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other, and the other layers of the embryo grow around an axis becoming the spinal cord. The gastrointestinal tract forms around the sixth week, there's brain activity. Blood flows, the heart beats, the skin is transparent. There's the first miserable signs of EEG movement. Brow, lashes, nails, increased muscle load, nervous auditory and respiratory systems, the line of brain connections, iron and calcium necessary for the actual birth, involving the engagement of the fetal head in a transverse position with the baby looking at the pelvis of its mother's hips, it's a second flexion, internal rotation, 90 degrees, the cipital interior for delivery by extension, out the birth canal, then restitution with the head turned 45 degrees in a normal relation, the angled shoulders, before completion of the external rotation, at which point we can see the head, the great big head, the benevolent head. We are on fire. It is alive.